better than the man himself to give us a look back at how far we've come. KTLA's very own Stan Chambers. That's right, Stan and Jamie, this is huge history-making night. Stan, first, I just want to ask you, what does it mean to you and how exciting is it to see so much change in the TV industry over the years? It's, it's a fascinating time. It was so great to be there when it was beginning, when the analog years started uh, some 60 years ago, and to be here tonight in the last 10 or 15 minutes of a great 60 years. Believe me, it's been exciting. I think all of us have learned an awful lot during that period of time. Hey, uh, hey Stan, the tech those pictures that were... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to ask you. With mobile units that were out there all the time, it's been the history of KTLA and it's a wonderful future because of that that past 60 years and in the next few minutes just coming up after the I, go I was, for it. I was gonna say hey listen the technology has changed we've watched the buildings change even the people who are in the buildings have we stayed the same are we the same people we were way back then you know basically we are but we have so much exposure so much uh, uh, involvement of people that you get different impressions but uh, the wonderful group of news people I work with today are just like that great group of news people I worked with 60 years ago. And KTLA has always been at the center of the news world with that helicopter first. The break, we're going to flip the switch to the digital world and the world will change forever. Easy, easy. Not so fast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment that we've been waiting for a very long time, and it's finally here. It's finally here. The big DTV transition just seconds away for the last time. Let's go out to Mount Wilson. Jamie and Stan standing by to make the switch. He's just moments away from changing our whole world from analog to digital here, and it's so exciting. And we're just going to have a couple quick more moments. Stan, what do you remember about this analog? When I was thinking, this is the end of the analog, and I was there at the beginning of the analog. And I remember a Saturday afternoon having a new television set in our home in uh, uh, Santa Monica Canyon, but I had to put the antenna up. And I went up the side of the mountains through all the brush and everything, got to the top, finally got the antenna together, and I thought, maybe we're going to have television. I came down the hill, fell a couple of times, went into the house, turned on the television set, and we got it. The whole era of television began in that way for me, and here it's ending here tonight. Well, on that note, is it time to flip the switch? Yay! Is it time? Is it? <laughs> I think so. Okay, everybody. At the end of five, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Is it time? Is it? <laughs> I think so. Okay, everybody. At the end of five, five. Four, three, two, one. There it is. There it is. They're all still here. Oh, there it is. It's gone. Oh, we, we look so much better, here? don't we? We made it. We made it. No more need to do makeup. I know. Nice, so Chris, long. clear picture we were all hoping for. <laughs> Yeah, are we all still alive? Are we still here? It's incredible. So now we are purely digital. The analog is gone 60 plus years at a close tonight. And our analog picture is just fluttering on the screen. So long. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you guys for sharing that moment with us. It's pretty emotional. Oh, so exciting. Hey, I just want to find out now, for those people who use that converter box, does it also mean that their TVs are going to be high def? Well, that's right. Yeah, when we're broadcasting in high dev, you're going to get those beautiful pictures, and that's what's so exciting. And we get more stations because we can split KTLA into just a couple stations, 5.1, 5.2, 5.3. If we get real greedy and lucky of that one, it would be just be so much fun. We play movies and different shows, so you just get so many more options with this new digital TV. I'm excited. And I yeah, hope the new digital works as well as the other did for 60 years. We'll, we'll see you then. Yeah, but I wonder Definitely. if this is going to take 60 years to flip around, you know, because things are moving much faster. The acceleration rate is higher than it's ever been. We're on this now, Jamie, but I get the feeling you and I are going to see a switch over to something else in even less time than Stan took. I, I hope you never know. We're, we're along for the ride. <laughs>
<laughs> Fantastic, guys. Oh, thank oh, you very thanks. much. Stan Chambers, Jamie Chambers. Exciting stuff. Yeah, it yes. is. Yes, much more exciting than the weather. This no, June gloom. What can it I is say? Cold. That was a smooth transition. The folks at Memphis didn't get the same kind of situation. Mm. Take a look at what they got. Very serious storms uh -oh. here. Why? Because they got that same storm system that moved through with the folks in Dallas yesterday. We talked about that. And because of that, their DTV transition had a little bumps in it. I mean, you know, what are you going to do when you've got gusts up to 105 miles an hour and damaging thunderstorms coming through? You're going to have some problems. So that is the situation for the folks in Memphis today. Here, like Mary Beth said, our weather's been kind of boring, but you know what the story is, right? It's been all about the gloom and doom. Before we get to that, let's do some surprise city on your Friday night. Here is a look at your clue for tonight. Very interesting stuff. Since the 1980s, the gumdrop-shaped trees here, the ficus trees, give our surprise city its unique identity. Is it A, Glendora, B, Moore Park, C, Ukaipa, or D, Burbank? Have you ever heard of the gumdrop-shaped trees? If so, you know where the city is, and that very lucky city will get its own personalized forecast coming up. But first, let's talk about some weather here.